Hey guys, so we're back with my second video. Here I am applying some Valentino dehydrator as well as the Bond. And I am applying some Nails and Blinks nail tips. I do love these nails. They're the tapered square. Sometimes I do wish they were a little bit longer, but I still like them. So I did do all my nail prep off the camera before I turned on the camera, just to save some time. Here, I'm, here I am going in with my e found a fine nail bit to remove all shine off the tip as well as my natural nail. And I do double prime or double dehydrate and prime my nail because I do have very, very, very oily nail beds. So this helps. So I find that this helps with lifting. So here I am applying a base to my natural nail as well as the tip of the nail. Now this is my second time using poly gel. Um, I went in with the clear McCart poly gel. And I have found that when, when applying the poly gel, when you apply it down the middle of your nail, pushing the poly gel to both sides of the tip and then working on smoothing it out works best, at least for me as, as far as what I've picked up within these last couple applications. Um, and just kind of working it um, around your your cuticle and just making sure everything's all nice and smoothed out and always cleaning the bottle making sure no poly gel gets stuck down there so I knew I wanted to do some Valentine's Day nails I just wasn't too sure what so I grabbed these little hearts and I applied a light pink a magenta and a red and I did one layer of hearts and then I went in with a, a second layer of the McCart poly gel, a very thin layer. And then on top of that, I went in with a second layer of the decals just to add some kind of dimension to the decals, um, to the hearts. And then finally I went in with a top layer of clear poly gel to top that off. And I do seem to really like poly gel. I've purchased a couple more kits um, from Amazon. So I hope I hope to put up some videos using those. They're different brands. Um, I do want to step into other brands just kind of to try 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 them out to see. You know, maybe one brand works better for me or more easy to apply than another brand. So just want to keep my options open. So if there's any brands or any tips that you guys might have um, that you think I should try out, let me know. Um, you know, I'm always... There's always room for improvement and, you know, critiquing or just some tips that you may have found when you first learned how to do poly gel. I have watched a lot of videos on poly gel, so I just kind of take a little bit from all the videos that I've watched. So after repeating that step several times with the three layers of poly gel, two layers of decals. I am finally on my last nail. And I really thought this design was super cute, super easy. Um, perfect for Valentine's Day. I'd probably even wear this even if Valentine's Day wasn't right around the corner. So one tip that I've never seen or heard of anyone mentioning is 
that after you you cure your poly gel, it still has a stick a sticky resin on top. So I just go in and clean that off with alcohol. Um, I've never seen any or heard of anyone mentioning that. So just thought I'd throw that out there. Here I am going in with my hand file and my Tammy Taylor file, which I love. Makes filing super easy because it's so stiff. And the site the file itself the file self itself is removable so you just take it off and replace it so here I am going in with my e-file getting that cuticle area nice and tight and right and once I'm done going in with my e-file I mean with my cuticle I do go in to kind of debulk and smoothen everything out with a coarse drill bit and this one is from Kiara Sky which is probably one of my favorite most used drill bits that I have finally I'm going in with a a buffer and buffing that out making sure everything's nice and smooth and even brushing off all that debris from all of that filing all the little um, poly gel that got stuck around my cuticle because I do still kind of have a messy application since I'm still new at this cleaning underneath the nail with a with my e-file this is probably such a satisfying part is cleaning underneath the nail making sure it's nice and clean under there here I am going in to clean make clean off all the debris making sure it's nice and clean ready for top coat here I am going in with the not polished top coat which is probably my favorite top coat out there I've tried a few different ones Valentino um, Secret Nail Affair, um, just a bunch of random ones, honestly, but this one seems to be my favorite. Going in with some cuticle oil, getting those cuticle, those dry cuticles nice and hydrated, as well as my fingertips. I have very dry hands. So here is a TikTok I posted of the nails. I hope you guys like them. Don't forget to follow me and follow my TikTok. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.